Uh, welcome to this 3D model of the rover Curiosity. It's a CAD model provided by the Jet Propulsion Lab and we've uh, imaged it in front of photos taken with the mass cameras on Mars. Curiosity is a great research tool for the surface of Mars. It's got the great suspension system, a lot of power from the uh, RTG, and we're getting a very large amount of uh, downlink. The antenna is this uh, hexagonal structure on the deck of the rover. We have fantastic science tools, and um, in particular we use cameras, they're the eyes of the mission. We're zooming in now to the MARTI, which is the first one we used. It took pictures during our descent, which gave us uh, great information about where we were landing and the dynamics of the landing system. The main workhorse cameras, however, are the mast cameras, and they are, of course, on the mast of the rover at the top, where we can get a good view. They are shown by uh, the uh, boxes that are just below the big white area. One's a 34 millimeter lens and the other's a telephoto 100 millimeter lens, color images. The white area on the top is the ChemCam instrument and it has a laser that vaporizes rocks and from the spectrum of light that it gives off, gives us elemental composition. It can also take pictures through the laser optics which give a microscopic image at a distance. Our highest resolution camera is the MOLLE camera, which is on the end of the arm, as shown here. It can focus to infinity, but it can also focus very close up and give us images that are on the order of 12 to 14 microns per pixel. It's like a geologic hand lens. The arm has a lot of instruments, including the APXS, which has been on all of the NASA rovers and is an outstanding instrument for giving elemental composition to very precise levels. It, ha it uh, is placed against the ground, so we have fewer of those measurements than we do from uh, the ChemCam, but they're very complementary uh, instruments. The other big function of the arm is to drill samples. This is the first mission where we've actually been able to sa ingest samples into the rover. So on the arm we have a rotary percussion drill um, shown here with two support posts on either side. It, uh, it produces the powder and filters it and then we put it into one of the inlets, which are those little round grills on the deck of the rover. The one on the right goes to Kenmin, which is X-ray diffraction and gives us some mineralogy. The two on the left go to SAM, which is three mass spectrometers in a row, and it gives us a lot of information about volatiles, and we can characterize organic compounds with it. We also have environmental instruments, so we're looking at REMS right now on the mast. It measures wind speed, air temperature, ground temperature, and air humidity. It's really important for understanding the uh, local environment. Our other environmental monitor is RAD, uh, which detects uh, radiation to understand how the atmosphere of Mars uh, influences the uh, surface radiation. And then we have a lot of other things like calibration targets. The little black post sticking up here is for the mass cam calibration. ChemCam calibration is a little to the left, those round circles that we're looking at obliquely. The one instrument that isn't shown on the CAD model is uh, DAN, and it looks at uh, neutrons that are reflected from the surface, either cosmic neutrons or those produced by the instrument itself. It gives a, uh, an idea of what the hydration of the rocks uh, but to about a meter depth under the rover um, are and how that's changing through time. So we've been on the surface of Mars uh, for a few days over a year now using this wonderful two meter high rover to do our investigations and thanks for watching. <laughs>